Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hi. Did you guys hear when we were playing D&D that I... No, it wasn't D&D. What was I doing? Oh, I tried yes, to put yeah. this in the Lethal Company Discord. Mm. I put... Uh, uh, on the Discord soundboard, I put a, a beer cracking open. And I was going to keep hitting it while we were playing. And uh, then we didn't use Discord. And then, But while you were streaming, I cracked open like three or four beers into the mic. And no one said anything. And I was like... I, re- I feel like I've had a lot of invisibits recently. Invisibits. Mm. Yeah, these are bits that go unnoticed. They're kind of like mm. tweets that should have banged, but IRL. Sure. Oh my God. Write that down, write that down, write that down. Write and that one down. of these invisibits I've done is I started it on the bonus episode where we did Pepper Pot Day. Okay. Um, Stacy or Sal or one of us said something like, I think Stacy was like, oh no, it doesn't creep. Mm. And then I said like, oh yeah, this one doesn't creep. And like we said creep like three or four times. And every time I just put the didn't. <laughs> I noticed it in the TikTok you made. And then I just made a TikTok where I said, I noticed, found out my boyfriend's a creep. And it went, didn't I did it in the main episode. Nay a single, nary a single comment. Nary. Until on Patreon, somebody left a comment like two days ago. It was like, LOL, the creep thing. Not a single TikTok comment about it. I felt like I was going a little bit insane. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it suck that you have to lie to yourself and go, that one's for me. Went secretly, you know. (laughs) It was meant for others, actually. <laughs> Anywho. It's embarrassing how hard that was for you. Well, I'd already uh, pre-cracked it. You can still get pregnant from pre-crack. Wow. <laughs> it shakes my world up. Hello, boys. Hello, girls. And hello, non-binary folks. And welcome to the, that's right, the number one judgiest place on the internet as voted by Ranker. Really? Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my name's Josh. My name is Rick. And my name is Christian. And we aren't fucking around here because we are the, the judges. Back in it's so cold, so so, so Bro, cold, it's so fucking cold. And I keep getting TikToks about um like the reason we have this fucking polar vo- vortex bullshit, and it just makes me so sad. Um, I've said this uh, on stream. I said it to Aurora, but like. When's the first time you heard the phrase polar oh, vortex? Cold. Oh, your beer's cold? Uh, <laughs> polar vortex, probably 2018. Yeah, probably. I said, like, I think the first time I remember hearing it was like 20, like 15. Right. But or, yeah, I was going to say, I actually like, know. 2014, what? I think, was the year in co- that we were in college where it was just like negative 40 degrees out. Mm. And remember, that was like insane. Yeah, and now it's just every year. <laughs> every and year now it's like, just winter. They have to start naming the polar vortexes like hurricanes. <laughs> This Wait, one is Heather. Know? Wait, they actually name it? That's, yes. that's really funny. I was just about that. Somebody <laughs> just told me that they named it. I was like, yeah, oh, you're f- fucking with me now. I guess that makes sense that all weather systems are named. Yeah. To like help track, track but that sucks hmm. to hear. Yeah. It's like, yeah, now every year, it's it's like every other week, it's like, yeah, polar vortex is coming through. And I was like, okay. Yeah. I feel like the air from the North Pole shouldn't be in Illinois more. And I tried Googling it. I was like, is, was it normally common? And we just didn't say the word before well it was stationary the polar vortex was stationary above the north pole and i googled it and it was like oh no it's pretty common it happened in like 1987 and then 1972 and then 1970 so it's like like once every 15 years it's like "Ah, it's not common bud that's not common (laughs) let me tell you all of our crazy uncles listening to this episode are gonna be pissed yeah well it's not global warming why is it so cold of course not i thought global warming made it hotter but that's the, that's the TikToks that I'm getting are like explaining why we keep having it and how it's probably going to be that way the rest of our lives. I'm like, so what's oh, the why? Is it just... that. Oh, you haven't seen them? No. Um, basically, so there's always a polar vortex, which is the cold air gets pushed around by the warm air coming through, right? Sure. Well, because of global warming, but that's pretty stable. It stays pretty stable and it's above like in the Arctic Circle. Sure. Um Because of global warming and the ice melting and the water's warming up, that allows like warmer air to go up. Air jets are fucked. Oh, and and just destabilizes that that vortex and it pushes it down in like a wave instead of keeping it all circulating up north. That's really stinks. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty depressing. Wow. And then everything with like Palestine and then just everything. Uh oh. Are you 
Are you yeah, because you keep scroll. You keep reposting, reposting everything, which is good. <laughs> <Hey>. But <laughs> I do my, I do my part. I do my part. Yeah. I did my part. Is that the quote? I mean, what's the quote? close? What is it? Uh, I'm doing this... my part. That's what it was. Thank you. Yeah. So yes, I've been doom scrolling, and I'm getting sad. I well, you gotta scroll, Pat. You can't. You can't stop and watch it for me. It's bad. I was uh, very depressed for the last I don't know eight weeks, and now, <laughs> surprisingly, the snow helped. Snow brought me out of my depression. I'm feeling good, guys. That's good. Really? I've been down. Is it because the bright white snow is like reflecting on the I'm light and it's so. brighter out? I'm hoping so. I think I was just meant for the cold, guys. I'm built different. I hate snow and cold weather. You wouldn't think so because I'm kind of a hairless man. You are. Yeah. We were doing a You Laugh, You Leave stream. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. We're doing you a laugh, you leave the pod. <laughs> We're doing a you laugh, you lose stream soon, and I was trying to think of like you know punishments for the loser, and I was gonna do like loser gets waxed, and it's like that's not a punishment for Christian. He like what he's gonna pull out the three hairs on his back. <laughs> It'd probably hurt worse to tweeze me, <laughs> which I don't. Ha- I don't have a ton of, of body hair, but I got about none. It's weird. I have more body hair than he does most places. Interesting. My legs have like a line straight down the middle where one half of my <laughs> One time I like grows hair and the other side doesn't grow hair. It's weird. Is but it's it, on both legs. Is it the in, inside or outside? The inside of my leg grows hair and then the outside doesn't. Huh. It's weird. Are you wearing tight jeans? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Anywho, we don't just doom scroll on this podcast. We also open mail on this podcast. That's right. Listeners sent in mail to P.O. Box 58, Ottawa, Illinois, 61350. And this one is a Christmas card with glitter on it <gasps> from Katie. We got glitter bombed? Oh, no. It just is. It's got a cat. Ooh. It's Santa Claus. Santa Paws. That's fair. Merry Paws. Christmas and happy Hanrika. Ooh. Ooh. We like that one. Okay, okay. I'll stop joshing around. I thought that was really good. I simply had to send you this festive feline card. Since we're here, let me add that I am a somewhat veteran pod listener, but new Twitcher. Okay. Is that what we call it? Uh, Sure. I don't. (laughs) And the extra streams have brought me so much joy and make hours spent on the capitalist hamster wheel fly by and I love it. Sadly, no sexy Polaroids or scandalous stories to share, but I hope I can at least bring you half a smile or an extra aggressive puff of air out your noses if I'm lucky. Keep being you, hugs and pisses. Uh, Katie uh, it says, desperately in need of funny humans to give me funny username. Um, Katie Harbert 99. Yeah, it's pretty shit, Katie. I don't have a good one either, so... Oh, there's another thing Unfortunately, in here. Unfortunately, Katie's Nuts took the best name. I was going to say, yeah, the only thing that's coming out is Katie's Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> she says, oops, all afterthoughts. I had to include my version of tarot um, WNRS cards. We're not really strangers. Oh, um, mm. This is the card that chose you. I would love to hear you discuss on the pod and would 1,000% recommend a bonus episode where we play We're Not Really Strangers. Okay, bye for real. We've played this. Okay. We have? At your house. Yeah, we oh, have. Oh, that... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have this game. All right. I, I don't remember I've, playing this at all. Was it New Year's? Um, With Heather know. and Luis? It was with Heather and Luis, for sure. Was it New Year's last year? Oh, was it that long ago? Oh, okay. I'm not sure then. I thought we were talking about this year. It wasn't this year. Okay, okay. Because okay. Luis didn't come to Oh, New fuck. Year's, yeah, remember? yeah. You're right. Yeah. Well, bitch. Um, this is a level two connection and it says, what is a dream you've let go of? Oh man, that's so sad. <laughs> Insane to go level two. And it's such a heavy Having a question. killer body. Yeah. Having a body, I just won't quit. I am still holding on to that. That is Are something you? I am grasping at. Yeah. Fuck. I don't know. What about you, Erica? Probably continuing my education. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. I also had that dream once upon a time, but no longer. But I can't think of something recent, like in the, maybe in the past like five years that I've thought like, hey, no more, bud. Hmm. I don't know. I can't remember now. 
I can't think of one. I kind of just achieve, you know? Mm. Dang, I just stay winning. Mm-hmm. I kind of catch and release my dreams. Okay. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I hear that traumatizes them. <laughs> you know, I Googled that about the fish because I was curious. Mm-hmm. And the first thing that comes up when I, the thing that I heard was that they like wouldn't eat for like three weeks and it's from fucking PETA. Which is insane. No, mm-hmm. they don't that, eat for three years, actually. <laughs> but it literally depends on the fish. Some fish, huh. you throw them back, and they're fine. Other fish, uh, once they get that puncture, they'll die. Okay. Like, uh-huh. just from, like, infection or, like... Is it, like, individual... Species. Like, okay. S- certain species, though, they don't give a fuck. Other species, though, they, it can be really dangerous to okay. catch them and throw them back. Which, I mean... They're going to die either way, I guess, you know, because if you well, don't, everything and everyone dies eventually. So, right. yeah. Okay. Well, we have another, this is a heavy episode, guys. Uh, stand up comedy. I've thought of it. You've given I, it up? Yeah. Why? Well, I don't know. You, you think should... we can still get that? I don't think I'm, uh, it's past the point, you know? No. No. Okay. Because we're cut. <laughs> He's like, dreams back. Dreams back, baby. <laughs> hey, this is just me fishing. This is. You guys do think I can do that? <laughs> okay. You know what sucks, though? I just Googled my name today. Guess the other famous Christian Kluckner. A stand-up comic that just was at the Montreal just for laughs, that fucker. Oh, fuck. That's a, I was going to say, do you think we can out-gig him? But that's a pretty decent... That's a pretty good poll. That's pretty good. I can't believe there's a another famous Christian Kluckner. Yeah. Well, I was shocked to see that his Instagram account had almost as many followers as I do. Maybe wow. he had more, I don't remember. I mean, that's not that... You don't have that many Instagram followers. I have a lot for following, like, 15 people. Yeah. I have, like, 1,500. It's yeah. a good number. But I'm just saying, like, if you just posted semi-regularly and Judgy's fans would go over to uh, at Pissy Chrissy on Instagram, that's you would true. easily crack that. Yeah, but what about, like, the mystique I have going? What's up with the picture I got? <laughs> Any yoga, Erica? <laughs> Uh, Merry Christmas, Judgies. I enjoy your podcast every Monday. This embroidery, spoiler alert, uh, was made with watercolor. Ooh, hope y'all enjoy. Oh, I don't boy. have a favorite Judgy, even though I'm sure you would all like to fight who over who would be a favorite. LOL, Man. I enjoy you all equally. Love, Meg. Ah, thank you, Meg. You can have her, her, Erica. It's a bad name. If I've learned anything from Family Guy, <laughs> it's a bad name. <gasps> wow. Whoa. Whoa. That's, that's really cool. Uh, that's actually super sick. That is fucking rad. Too bad oh. we're out of wall space. Are we? No. Uh, yeah, there's no, there's just no space. <laughs> that's actually really cool. I, I like that a lot. This is very cool. Thank Put you, Put on Meg. top of the elephant painting. Sorry, Keeper Ryan. <laughs> you got downgraded. He just messaged me. Huh. What the fuck? What? Do I need to beat him up? No. Good. Okay. Do I need to stick a freaking rhino on him? Guess who else messaged me? Uh, Jody. Uh, no, Adriano. Oh, because... AKA Foo underscore fighter. Oh, we love Dave. Good old Dave. Uh, because we don't, uh, we don't just... It's not Dave. We also podcast on this podcast. What that tells us? Yeah. Going online and finding yeah. silly little stories. stories. Sometimes Adriano does that. Sometimes... He does. He says, hey, Ricky, it's Adriano. You can say my name if this is read. Been a long time since I submitted. Hope all is well. I saw this post on Reddit, and surprisingly, a lot of people were saying the guy wasn't the asshole, and I was wondering what your opinion would be. Hope you enjoy. A little bit of a priming of the, of the barrel there. Okay. Am I the asshole for my response after a guy kept teasing my accent? Hmm. I would have to say no. I can't imagine there's... Okay. There are some accents that deserve to be teased. We've talked about them on this podcast. Italian. Literally every accent you try to do, we tease you for because you're bad at it. Uh, I was going to say like the regional Warsh accent. Oh. Yeah. I thought... Like Welsh, but bad. That's kind of what I thought you were getting at, but you're saying like I Warshed my clothes? That's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. People who say Warsh, fix yourself. Hear that, Grandma? It's all grandma. It's all grandma. <laughs> Maybe it's a generational thing and not necessarily a... It's an accent. Okay, anyway. I, 21 female, am fluent in a few languages and lived in many com- different countries growing up. As a result, I have a bit of a mishmash a accent. Fox. And it changes depending on my mood, who I'm talking to, the environment, etc. Anyway, my brother's friend often teases me about my accent when I speak English. He will mimic the way I say words or whole phrases. 
When I say something a bit wrong, he will ask me to say it again just to rile me up. He even secretly records me sometimes when I'm unaware and joked that he listens to the audio at night to help him fall asleep. Okay. Whatever that means. He has a crush on you. Anyway, yesterday he once again teased my accent. I was fed up and told him that he was raised speaking English. He only knows English and he will only ever speak English. I told him that I have an accent because my brain stores more information and that there's nothing in his. (laughs) Damn. Roasted him. Got his ass. Finally, I said that he should master his mother tongue before he comes to me. Uh, Wait. Before he comes to me? Like comes at me. Okay, I'm making fun of your accent because that was me assuming that the implication was that he was masturbating to your voice. Wait, really? Yeah. Huh. No. You're filthy. Get Disgusting. Your mind out of the, the gutter. Get out of comes here. Comes to me is. Oh, I mean, come on, come on. He was shocked and He's told me to chill to out. My brother laughed and made fun of him. So he hasn't spoken to me since, but texted a poorly written apology. He said he doesn't dislike my accent at all and that he actually likes hearing me talk. Am I the asshole? called it no that's such a that's such a slight unscathing like return diss yeah yeah how at the very least you're like call him stupid that's like baseline yeah that's a baseline insult you only get worse from there so what did what did Asterian say that the people were saying that the guy wasn't the asshole that what was what was his name alexandria adriano adriano what did i say you said Asterian, uh, which is from that Baldur's was for Gate? all my Baldur's Gate head out there. Uh, he's why were you we surprised? They were saying that the person was the asshole. Yeah, a lot of the comments were saying that this person was an asshole. That's why. Yeah, why that's... you can't quip? Uh, is it I illegal guess. to quip? I guess. Hey, lock me up, You're buddy. On... <laughs> uh, that's you know the uh, creator uh, Astrid uh, or Odd Pride Astrid. I think Lundberg okay. is their last name. Um. They have a very uh, unique dialect, and I think it's similar where they have uh, I traveled. Don't quote me on this, but yeah, it's like they grew up in different places, so their their accent, everything, yeah, was changed. Um, but it's like, uh, what a weird thing to admit that you record them and then listen to their. That voice. is so strange. That deserves so much more than just like a slight like. A yeah, b- that's creepy. That's <laughs> that's full on creepy. Yeah. Could you imagine listening to other people talk while you fall asleep? You must be fricked up in the head to do that. You got a screw loose. <laughs> anyway, he also sends another story. If you want me to, it's not a story. It's a series of texts, but he says specifically, I also found this weird escalation of texts that I think Josh would love. Mentions American football. The band? <laughs> <laughs> That's American baseball. Mm. That's modern baseball. Yeah. Anywho, never, never meant Aurora can play that on guitar. <laughs> this is such on brand for Aurora, just because this is a very big like meme. Never meant is such a meme song. Uh, I think within the first like two days of us texting, she sent me a video of her playing the guitar riff. I mean, it's kind of it's a really good riff. It's so catchy. Should we make a pilgrimage to the house? Where's it at? Is it in Champagne? Illinois? Yeah, we're going right now. <laughs> now the roads are bad. Two hundred episode at the never meant football <laughs> american football house anywho this is a from r slash texts <gasps> whoop. whoop maybe it's, it has to be give me an a name uh, starian a starian astrid astrid and a c name chester nice chester Hey Astrid, it's Chester. I was it was super cool meeting you yesterday with May's gang. Haha, ha, so hey, not to be forward, but would you be down to kick it sometime? I know this is I know this really good sushi place in town. <laughs> or the Eastern Europe. It sounds like someone who like <laughs> didn't understand like <laughs> modern slang. Yeah, would you be down to kick it sometime? <laughs> you and your gang are pretty slick. <laughs> yeah, you and May's gang really impressed at the Sockenbop. <laughs> You got moxie, kid. <laughs> Astrid says, hey, yeah, it was great seeing everyone again yesterday. <laughs> ha ha, yeah, says Chester. So you down to hang out sometime? Let me take you out. Smiley face. We can go to any Asian restaurant you want. L-M-A-O. But okay. that's it. 
But Don't you, expand your cuisine. If you pick Mexican, I get to pick which <laughs> one. Then Astrid says, any Asian restaurant I want, LMAO, what does that even mean? Oh, no. We already know what that means. We know what it means. He says, haha, well, I didn't know you were part Asian, which is super attractive, by the way. Uh, Oh, Chester. But when I found out, I figured you would want to eat something Asian, lol. And Astrid says, nah, I'm good. I actually have a boyfriend, so shrug emoji. (sighs) How... How deranged do we think he's going to get, Josh? On a scale of one to it's ten, it's not over. Oh no, I still have two more. <laughs> oh, two more. I was one to ten. How nice of a guy? I think he's going to say, "Oh, I'm sorry to impose. I didn't mean to go and have. Please have a lovely rest rest of your day." He says, "Oh, really? Who? Uh oh, checked. Oh, they go to Canada. I'm with. Give me a G name, Gary. It's my grandpa. Give me a different Greg. one, Greg." It's my grandpa. Give me a different one. <laughs> you have three G names for men. It's like Greg, George, and Gary. Geraldo? I'm with Geraldo. Ah. The Fox Chester host? says LMAO, the Asian guy. Why? When did you guys get together? Astrid says, yep, the Asian guy. I would a- just stop texting, I feel like. A couple weeks ago. Chester responds with LMAO, but you're not even that Asian though. Isn't he only 5'10 LMAO? LMAO, he was rejected from the football team back in high school. I bet he doesn't play any sport for college, which is a shame. Sports are important, especially college football. At least I do that, SMH. Now, do we think he's like D1 college football or like. Oh, no. I have the answer college. to that. Oh, okay. this is D3. This is community college. This is like. He's third string D three kicker. Okay, punt return is that a is that a good position or is that a yeah? It's not an punt. easy position to do. Astrid responds with LMAO. You play Division three. Yeah. What are you even talking about? The closest you will ever get to the NFL is you becoming the water boy. Just a fun fact for you. Geraldo is on a full ride academic scholarship to the university that ranks in the 30s and accepts less than 12% of applicants. Don't ever think you're better than him just because you're white and can somewhat throw a football. Feel free to delete my number. Well, he is quarterback. Okay, so that's cool. How do you think Chester responds to that? I'm so sorry. I definitely and... stepped over the line, and I didn't mean to insult you or anybody of Asian heritage. Mm. You attacked him by saying he can't be in the <laughs> NFL, so he's going to go ballistic if I had to take a guess. Um, I would totally make it D1 if I didn't tear my ACL my senior year. <laughs> he said, LMAO, shut up, you stupid ah, slur. Slur, sure. Mm-hmm. Yikes. That's fucking insane. Mm-hmm. Expected, I guess, but insane. Yep. Wow. What a, f- hey, what a fun thing. Thank you, Andrew, for those texts. I loved them. Adriano. <laughs> I can't remember his name. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's an Elizabeth. <laughs> and this one is from Off Submitter. I'm probably going to mispronounce their name again. Zorian. Zorian. Christian's the, the expert on this name. Okay. So we have to go off his word. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Fuck. <laughs> Swipe up to turn that off. Well, oh, that, okay. We do get comments all the time, Erica, when you say things, and the people all the time are like, at this time code needs to be a soundboard, but I think we need, I didn't mean to do dad, needs to be on the <laughs> soundboard. Did I say dad? <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't. Like, Oop, didn't mean to do dad. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's pretty good. Yikes. All right. I do think that's a good soundboard one. Well, it's good for me. Zorian. What'd you say? Zorian? No. What is it? Zorian? Zorian? Yeah. Zorian. Zorian. I say Zorian. Or Zorian. It's Zorian. Yeah. Yeah. All right. This is from Zorian. I know this story will get you and Josh mad. Ooh. Mad. Am I the asshole for snitching on my sister because I was worried about her pregnancy? Hmm. You're not the asshole, but snitches do get stitches, so mm. you deserve to get beat up at a minimum. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to a point to where you require medical assistance. Hello. As long as we're on the same page. 
Hi. I haven't been on Reddit for a while. That's why this account is new. Nobody fucking cares. <laughs> Nobody cares. I hate that. Like, throw away for obvious. Like, yeah, we get it. We it's only for the mods. <laughs> and so it doesn't get auto deleted. I guess. Mm. Act I, like you've used Reddit. Which the thing is, that I really don't. <laughs> really don't. I'm 35 male. My little sister is 22 female. Last year, she told me she was pregnant with her boyfriend, and I was the first and at the time only person she mentioned it to at a very early stage. I promised not to tell anyone else until she was ready. However, time passed and I got no news about her or the pregnancy. I knew she was still alive because of her social media feed, but I saw no signs of the pregnancy progressing, nor anyone else in our family said anything about the pregnancy. I tried to contact her, but she always ghosted me. She should have given birth in May of this year, but still no baby. After so long of not knowing about her or the baby, in July... I called a line here in Texas to ask for a wellness check on her and the baby. In Texas? Yes. You... First of all, wellness check is already dangerous. But in Texas, you're going to ask if effectively if your sister got an abortion in a state where that's like criminalized? <laughs> I got no response. In the months after, the rest of our family stopped talking to me without warning. Before Christmas, I got a call from her. Right after saying hello, she asked me if I called the cops on her. I told her, no, I called for a wellness check for her and the baby. She started crying and telling me that the police came to her home and she was charged for being suspected to have an illegal abortion. The baby miscarried in January and she had a rough time and now was being questioned about it. She told me the charges were dropped, but that she was with our mom at her place when the police came and it was very traumatizing to her. They have traumatizing in quotes, like, like it wouldn't like it's actually fake. be, yeah. Yeah. And had to explain everything to our mom who had no idea that it had happened. I couldn't even finish to tell her my side of the story when she hung up. I called our mom. What's your side of the story? Yeah. I mean, what? You don't have a side to your sister's uh, spontaneous abortion story. That's I her story called our mom to ask her what that was about, and she told me it was for the better if I didn't come home for Christmas. I feel like I'm being shunned for having reasonable worries and doing what was at my disposal to take care of my sister and my nephew or niece. I don't think this is fair, but I got to ask if I was wrong. Yeah. You knew exactly what you're doing. Like yeah. Well, I also have to say that there was some severe grammatical errors that I fixed when I was reading. Um, so I don't think this person is very smart. <laughs> They're from Texas. Because I just feel like, Zing. first off, like, <laughs> he talked about how he was once seeing social media posts from her. So, like, you know she's alive. Yeah. And you were talking to family members. You didn't... I get it's like, oh, we gotta wait to talk, like, in case something happens. Yeah. But you waited a full year and you didn't ask your mom, like, what's up with the baby? Mm -hmm. What? Well... Uh, didn't she say that the mom found out that she was pregnant even at one point when the cops were called? She found out when the cops showed up. That. And her daughter, the the sister here was like, yeah, I had a miscarriage. I right. So I just mean like, I think the brother was correct in assuming that she didn't tell the rest of the family. She did not I tell guess, the rest of the family. But I would rather have family beef than calling the yeah. cops on my sister no, in Texas. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, when like... Even if even if you wanted to go the route of like making sure that you didn't accidentally tell your mom that your sister was pregnant, uh, like so easy to talk to your mom and be like, "Hey, have you seen Abby recently? Yeah, or, like she's not responding to my text. I just want to check and make sure she's okay." All right, I have edit for some context. As you might guess, there is a generational gap between my sister and I. I left home very early to make my life, and for that reason, I'm not very close to my family. Yes, we had some rough patches because of differences of opinions, but well, there was we know. <laughs> yeah, there was we never such you, you figure. <laughs> there was never such bad blood with my family members before. I was genuinely worried about my sister. I didn't call the police on them. It was a call to make sure she and the baby were okay if he had been born. Who'd you call though to see if they were okay? Probably the police. It doesn't yeah, say. Yeah, so you, you called the check. fucking police. <laughs> I just mentioned that she should have a very young baby. I asked our mom about her, but I had a feeling that I was being left out of the story. 
and I'm not really aware of the Texas laws on reproductive rights. How? Okay. He must not How? be in Texas. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, I agree. How are you anywhere in the, f- at, at the very minimum, in the United States, but even in the world? How are you anywhere? And you don't know. And it, it is one of those things where it's like, even if you don't watch the news or keep up with politics, it's like, it was such a big thing. You can't. You literally can't avoid that conversation. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, it doesn't affect him, so he probably didn't care. He's yeah. a probably conservative guy that d- doesn't affect him, so he doesn't give a shit. I'm not in the business of knowing every law that comes up. It's not something that gets <laughs> talked a lot about in my circle. People have lives to live, and not being all day on the internet raging about laws that probably won't ever affect them. Hey, well, yeah, it affected it, you. Yeah, it did affect it. you, bud. I'm clearing, <laughs> <It's> crazy. <laughs> I'm clearing this for people who think I wanted to intentionally get my sister arrested. Of course, I want to apologize to everyone if I'm just given the opportunity to do so. Um, you can just do it. For That's now. the crazy thing. <laughs> you don't have to be given an opportunity. You can just reach out and apologize. But for now, my sister, my mom, and my other families don't want to talk to me, and I feel like that's not fair. Fair? But it's not about being fair. It's respecting their autonomy and, like, being an individual. Dude. You can apologize. I can say, hey, I'm sorry. Yeah. And it's totally okay for them to not reciprocate mm-hmm. that apology. Nobody has to accept your apology. Yeah. Or even they could accept it and still not want to talk to your ass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, just... That's not owed. I just, I don't know. You knew what you're doing. I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm pissed. I'm peeved. You got me. You, you did your work. <laughs> Somebody commented, holy shit, your sister could have been prosecuted for procuring an abortion and you want to know if you're an asshole? Of course you're the asshole. And your updates only make it worse. Why don't you know about the assault on women's health and reproductive rights in Texas? I don't even live in the U.S. and I know about it. And OP responded with, now my question is, why are people obsessed with laws of places they don't live in? Yes, I hear some news, but that's that. If I get in a legal trouble, I'll read what's necessary and that's it. Usually just follow the Ten Commandments and won't get in any trouble Uh, anywhere. I never wanted my sister to get in uh, trouble. Do you guys hear? I feel like there's like a really high-pitched noise I'm hearing right now. This is crazy. Dog whistles. (laughs) Ah, thank you. Cerebral. Wait, so you were receptive to the dog whistles then? Because I didn't hear the dog whistles. Yeah, neither did I. Which means that you heard them, which I'm means they dog. were for... <laughs> and therefore you're in the dog... Therefore you're in the dog house. Oh. Is that on the board? Dog house. Dog house. Dog house. <laughs> I'm trying to find how long um, they can go to jail for for procuring an abortion in Texas. Is it not? Do they not just consider it like... Is it murder? Like, is <laughs> yeah. it Which is 25 years maximum, I think. I mean, I'm right. They, they'd have every woman in up Texas. to life in prison in Texas, and it's a felony. So, like, even if you don't get life in prison, you have a fucking felony on your, you know. That's so cool. On your, what a cool sorry. brother! What a piece of shit! I, my theory was even before we got to that part where it is like, I I wonder if it's because that first conversation he had with her was like, really like, well, you can't get an abortion. Yeah, like and like shit like that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That that is what it feels like. Especially, I only I only listen to the news a little bit. I mostly just listen to the Ten Commandments. <laughs> okay, dude, listened to one piece of news in like one thousand BC and was like, "I'm all right." <laughs> <laughs> that Moses guy really spoke truth to power. No more news for me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Old Commandment, Old Testament's chill with it. Abortion? Yeah, so. it's not. It's not. Abortion isn't like seen as bad in like yeah. the Jewish faith. So. I'm going to read one more before we go on a break. I think yeah. I think Catholicism was the only uh, religion that really, like, put into mainstream, like, the idea that abortion was, like, really bad. And then it became more and more, like, in, in the 1900s, yeah, that's like, demonized say, by Americans. I was like, was that like, not, like, a thing to, like, the f- 50s? The, it's, like, the <laughs> 40s, yeah, or something like that, yeah. Um, Same Zorian. Bat time, Zorian. same Bat channel. Um. Sent another one, and this is from r slash entitled parents. This one is so fucked. (sighs) Fucked. (laughs) My daughter's father wants to use her as therapy for his wife. Okay. I, 33 female, am going to preface this. You can still get pregnant from preface. 
they, they have it as preface, pre dash face. <laughs> I'm going to preface this by saying that my six year old daughter's father, 37 male, I'm going to call him Jeff, has never been my romantic partner. We had a one night stand. I don't like okay. people calling him my ex since it makes it seem like we had some kind of emotional attachment. He was never involved after I told him I was pregnant and actually wanted me to terminate the pregnancy. But I decided to raise my child alone since I have enough money and to, to raise her without child support. Okay, flex. Um, there, there is a stink bug in here. What are we going to do about that? That's a box elder bug. There is, it, there, is it not a stink bug? No. There is a box elder bug in here. Just, what, is it bothering you? Well, what if it makes a stink? It's not going to. What this if it makes a here. box? Ooh. Yeah. Well, for the whole pregnancy in the first four years, Jeff was not in the picture. On my mother's recommendation, I did send him pictures and invite him to special inv- events, but he always replied he had no interest in my daughter. Two years ago, he reappeared and began demanding parental rights. When I didn't do what he wanted, he sued and was told no, he was not getting parental rights. He was given- By the court? Yes. Okay. He was given the offer to pay child support, and then he can revisit giving him actual rights, but he has refused. That's kind of crazy. He has the money, much more than me, but he refuses. I guess that makes sense. You kind of like have to prove that you're invested by paying child support. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be so funny to like to be not paying child support and be like, can I see my daughter? Like, no, but also you have to pay us now. Yeah. <laughs> um, you got 12 years of back, <laughs> back dated child support you got to catch up on first. Uh, she says, I still offered to let him see my daughter in a casual manner. No child support needed with the agreement that anything legal, medical, or educational will not involve him. Why? At this point, why? Why like, allow him to see her at all? Yeah. Um. Goodness of her own fart, I guess. Yeah. He pushed the boundaries and we had a fallout. After that, we didn't hear from from him for almost six weeks before he called to meet for Christmas. After much discussion, I agreed to bring my daughter over on the condition that my daughter's godparents could come. Thus, we went over for Christmas dinner, and finding out that Jeff is married and had never told his family that he had a child, that's Uh, how I found out, as they went over there. okay. Not a different child. It was (coughs) great to be judged by a bunch of strangers. It was uncomfortable the whole time. I'm going to use fake names here, but let's just say my daughter's name is Katie. His wife kept calling my daughter Gabrielle, not the actual name she used, but it was that different to my daughter's name. The wife also was very physical, trying to pick my daughter up or parent her. I would block her or tell her to please let me deal with my child. Oh, I just remember the title. This is wild. (laughs) The whole time she pretty much ignored me, but Katie didn't seem nervous. So I decided just to bide my time. I hit my limit when my daughter said she needed the bathroom and this stranger went, oh, Gabby, you need the potty. Let mommy change you. Oh, no. My daughter hasn't worn diapers in quite some time now, and she is more than capable of going alone to the bathroom. She's six, right? Yeah. I told her immediately to stay away from my daughter and that we were leaving. The woman started wailing that I was kidnapping her baby girl and tried to lunge at me. Oh, no. Her in-laws got in the middle and were holding her and consoling her and saying that we weren't leaving and for her to calm down like she was the victim here. At that point, I just glared at Jeff and told him he better explain or I would be calling the police. He asked me to speak in private in another room and that I could just leave my daughter with his parents. Uh, I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. No way that would ever happen. Katie's godparents took her with them despite the wife having a full meltdown. Jeff and I spoke outside and he explained that he and his wife recently lost a daughter. I'm not going to give specific details on that. All I'll say is it was sudden and nobody's fault. And as I can only imagine, it had caused some psychological issues to his wife. Yeah. Apparently, he had the brilliant idea that having Katie pass as their lost child would help his wife without telling me. And that's why he wanted visitations and parental rights. He pleaded for me to leave my daughter with him for a little bit. I asked him what his plan was when his wife heals. His response was disgusting. Well, I'll just send Katie back with you and it'll be like it was before. Uh, 
Can I borrow your kid for a little bit? <laughs> Just a loner. I told him he was insane if he thought I would let him use my daughter like that. What his wife needs is therapy with a professional, not feeding her delusions. And I would not let that woman within miles from my daughter. He told me I was being cruel and didn't know the pain of losing a child. I agreed with him, but reminded Jeff that my priority is not his family. It's my child. What he and his family do to work through their grief has nothing to do with us. I also told him to call his lawyer because I'm making sure he never has contact with my child again. Wow. So that's what I'm bracing for. He's been blasting my phone since Christmas, but I can, e- I can easily ignore him. My daughter and I are going to do a small travel vacation. Yikes. I do have to say, the other mom didn't like her at first. Now I just feel sorry for her. By the end of the story, I felt sorry for her. Yeah. yeah. She's, clear- she's clearly a, has a, is <laughs> yeah. having a psychotic break. Yeah. <laughs> and that's yeah. not her fault. Her, I, I'm astonished at how dumb dudes are. Yeah. Boo. Like, for him to be like... This is a genius plan. Hey, this I've got a... one of those kids. To give, I got a kid I could give her. <laughs> to give him a little bit of mm. CCR, he's also grieving. You know what I mean? Like, he's I clear guess. CCR. Credence. Clearwater revival? Yeah. Is, to give him a little bit of credence? Is that not a phrase? Uh. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Please, please, please be a phrase. Uh, he's also grieving and clearly not in a great headspace yeah right that does not excuse it but clearly uh (laughs) this is so fucked it's so messed up Mm. yeah that is i I don't know that's such a scary situation to even be in i can't imagine actually being there like i know just be like oh fuck what did i get into i mean so when she said that he didn't tell his family that he had a kid did that include his wife i'm assuming like his wife just fucking like a kid showed up and the break was just like oh that's my kid yeah there's no she wasn't prepped that's crazy that's wild what a bad person what a bad thing to do yeah (sighs) he's a bad guy Duh. Okay, give credence to means to accept as true. So I definitely didn't use it right. <laughs> However, I do need to... Let's give that guy <laughs> keep, a little CCR. Keep that CCR <laughs> yeah. in, the, in the back pocket for yeah. now. We'll come back to that one. I'm cutting it out. Okay. And then later, okay. even if I forget to say it, we'll I'll put it, it when we do need to give credence Clearwater Revival to sure. something. Okay. That sounds good. Yeah. We could maybe talk about that after the break. Sure. I'm not a big fruit punch gal. Have you had a Capri Sun fruit punch? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Jeez. Okay. So it's just not. It's not my preferred fruit. <laughs> <laughs> or punch. It's not my preferred punch either. Yeah. <laughs> what fruit is fruit punch? That's a really good question. See, to me, it's mostly cherry. Probably. It's too much cherry flavor for me. That's what I. But you do like drinking sherry. I don't. No. Oh. Well, Christian, how about you, Sherry? Tell me about that circle, George. <laughs> Sherry, I will. It's on my card. I then don't know why. Fucking what... fix it. There's so much pre production. I'm not even going to do the bit for you, Joshua. Here's the thing it would mean we get here <laughs> on time. I have to give Josh my card to do the things. You know it's what's a whole crazy? Pre-production. What's up? You know what's crazy? What's up? What's up? Is we're not really on a time limit here. Interesting. Interesting it's that you interesting say that. interesting you view it that way. Uh, the world is dying. Yeah, that was established. <laughs> yes. Anywho. I would argue that we are on a time limit. Here's the fucking circle, George. I'm judging the both of you for not fixing this yet. It's kind of funnier if we don't. No, it's crazy. That ties into the circle, George. This week's circle, George, according to NPR... Ooh. Uh, we, due to procession, Zodiac signs have changed. Excuse me? The, the Zodiac signs have changed. We've, our universe has shifted enough to where... Due to procession? Yeah, of like the earth. A, what's that mean? Move me? The wobbling of the earth. 
<laughs> You're welcome. I just wrinkled your brain. Um, but yeah, according to some astronomer on NPR, uh, all the zodiac signs they fucking changed. Whatever okay. you thought you, what did you think you were? Cancer. Not anymore. What did you think you were? Leo. Not it's not anymore. just moving by a couple days. Like everything got shifted. It's just moving by a couple days. But I was thankfully, a, I was on the end of it. I think. Thankfully, we're all close enough that you'd be at the beginning of cancer. None of us were put back into our That's originals. Right. I, myself, was a Pisces. I now am Sagittarius. And we have known this forever. I'm an Aquarius now, boy. Well, you've okay. always been on the, cu- on the cusp. I'm, I've been a cusper, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. But now I'm deep into the Aquarius. More importantly, what am I? <laughs> Erica, general, pl- oh, you want to go I, first? No, I do just, the difference between Pisces and bicuspid. What was the other one? Aquarius. 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 Well, it's funny you ask that, because I'm just going to read you a quick description of an Aquarius, and you tell me if that sounds like me. Um, okay. Uh, it yeah, sounds it sounds like exactly you, yeah. like you. Aquarians are future-oriented people, often described <laughs> as visionaries. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're very intelligent and proudly original. Okay. I'd say that's half true. Yep, yeah, half true. Ha- what? You're not You're very, very intelligent. <laughs> I'm not original or I'm not intelligent. I, he said you're very talk. intelligent and I said you're not very original. <laughs> <laughs> Call me a Leo because I'm pissed off You've now. You've worn the same outfit three weeks in a row. <laughs> it switched up a little bit. The same piece of concept shit. outfit. You piece of shit. You know what? This makes sense because Josh, you're a fucking Gemini now, you piece of shit. Two-faced. Mm, very two-faced. You're two-faced. <laughs> The Gemini personality is very fun, but mm. like every sign, Geminis have weaknesses. Their strengths are that they're adaptable, outgoing, and intelligent. There's never a dull moment with a Gemini. However, is one of them just like, yeah, it turns out Sagittarius dumb as rocks. Like, yeah. Are they all intelligent? Just you wait, I'm sure. I can almost guarantee. Uh... The Gemini weakness are that they're indecisive, impulsive, unreliable, and nosy. That's not me. Be though. careful telling a Gemini your de- deepest, darkest secret. That's Erica. What? That I nosy? Can't... Oh, well, fuck yeah, I'm nosy. <laughs> are you kidding me? And then, Erica, if you had to guess what you are, Erica, what do you think you are? It's after Leo. I don't know. You're such a Leo. Is it Sagittarius? No, it's December to remember sales event. I'm just letting you know you're going in the wrong Is direction. Is it Virgo? You're going... No, you're a cancer. Oh. You guys are going in the wrong direction. Emotional. You cry <laughs> a lot. I don't. Uh, you uh, uh, don't stand up for yourself, but you stand up for others. Yeah. Cancers wear their hearts on their sleeves, but there you have a range of emotions going on in, going on inside, which can at times make them seem overly sentimental or moody. This is due to their connection with the moon phases and why cancers are said to be <laughs> crabby. That Just sucks. like real crabs, cancers are known to retreat into their shells and are most comfortable when they're at home surrounded by loved ones. They're generally on the more introverted side, preferring deep, intimate connections with just a few people over socializing in large groups, which can easily overwhelm a crab. <laughs> Wait, like an actual like sea crab? <laughs> Because when they're born, they're kind of in a pretty big, like, large social gathering event. That's true. Cancers dislike small talk and can be difficult to approach at first, but once you get to know them, they'll be a loyal friend for life. Does that sound like... Does this sound right? It's more closely closer to me than... Maybe it's because yeah. we weren't born. We were born in the old phase. Yo! So new phase babies... It's all messed up now. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Because, yeah, these all sounded fucked up, right? This Wait, is this just... Is this, like, a Marvel tie-in? Is this, like, new phase, like, phase five? Oh, fuck. It could... It could be. I didn't look... This is just lib science, dude. This is what you liberals want us to be doing. You're giving us the wrong signs. You're too political right now? I'm sorry, I will dial it back. <laughs> um, You guys don't think that fit with you? There was some... Some bits intelligent. No, can't fit with me. That, <laughs> that wasn't even mentioned in mine. It wasn't. Hmm. You, well, well, crabs aren't very smart. Famously, dumb as rocks. Lions, though, geniuses. Genius. 
I do feel like we all fit into our other ones better. Um, like our original ones. And then, just for a fun little thing, I looked up our daily horoscopes. Wait, what's Aurora's? Uh, I can go back to the picture real quick. Um, bu- 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 December. She's a Scorpio now. Mm-hmm. I can't believe it all changed. Is she normally a Capricorn? No, or Sagittarius. She's normally Sagittarius. Yeah, yeah, December 7th. Yeah, they just all got moved back. Basically by a month and a day. So now she's Scorpio. Yes, she is now a Scorpio. Interesting. Hmm. She um, does always yell at me, get over here. She's always throwing the thing at me. <laughs> um, And here's our daily horoscopes, but for our new signs, which are correct... You guys need to change yourselves to align with the new <laughs> yeah. signs. Get with the times, New folks. year, new me. I already forgot what I am. Virgo? Gemini. Gemini. Here's Christian's it's horoscope so Gemini for the day. You to forget. It's crazy. Not all friendships are the same, Aquarius. You have learned the hard way, <laughs> but that's okay. Today, you could feel like putting your friendship in some kind of order and getting a bit of perspective on things. It's time to figure out which of your friends are really there for you when you need them, and which of them just show you how much, th- and which of them show you how much they care, and which ones do not. Christian, when did you when did you come up with this circle, George? At the beginning of the year. Why? What like like in January? Yeah. What day? Is that why you texted me <laughs> on January third, and said, "Hey man, I need you to call me right now," and I called you, and you didn't answer, and you said. Never mind, I figured it out. You were testing me to see if I would call you. I wouldn't call it a test as much because as... Because I passed it? A pop quiz. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't as serious. <laughs> it's not worth as many points as he thinks. <laughs> <laughs> Erica's horoscope for the day. Hmm. Today, Cancer, you may feel like hiding yourself away in your ivory tower and watching the performance that is going on before your eyes. <laughs> and why not? If this allows you to get the perspective you need on things, use this period in your life to give others their real value and to see where where certain people actually fit in your world. You're a very lucky person to be able to find this kind of balance in your life. I've always been saying that about you, Erica. Mm -hmm. I've always, at least today, I've always been saying it about you. At least today? (laughs) Yep. The past 30 seconds, I've said that about you (laughs) so many times. And Josh, (laughs) this one more, this one has credence to it. I will say. We're, some CCR? Oh, there's some CCR, CCR, this one. CCR, okay. You seem to have a lot of resentment towards someone who may have hurt you. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Someone that gave you a pop quiz, maybe. <laughs> Don't keep these feelings inside or they'll eat away at you. Okay. Gemini, take advantage of your day to pull... <laughs> take advantage of your day to pull all your... Take it from the top. Take advantage of your day to put all your car- cards on the table and forget about revenge. Because it could just turn against you. Instead, why don't you try to reach out to that person and explain your feelings to him or her? The good energy you get from this experience could be very beneficial to you tomorrow. Interesting. Non-binary folk never wrong individuals. That's why I didn't That's say that. That's why I don't have to put that on there. <laughs> yeah. Those are, those are from tarot.com. Those were terrible. Ha <laughs> I thought that was really good. Thank you. What do you think? NPR was wrong. Hey, I've happened never, before. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I've never believed in zodiac signs more. Okay. Than right now, when they're like, no, they change them, and they were so wrong. <laughs> oh sure, they were so wrong. I'm like, at least the other one had like something where I'm like, yeah, I guess. a little bit of credence. Yeah. I guess I could see how that describes me. This one, I was like, you're you talking about the wrong person. You're looking at Chris Chris Kleckner that was <laughs> showing up on. <laughs> That's the guy. That's the guy that you had class with, that sat next to you. That you always got Chris mistaken. K, that yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> that piece of shit. Yeah. We had to have said that on the podcast, right? Yeah, we've talked about it before. We have been getting a lot of new listeners recently because I don't know if you noticed, we're kind of Instagram celebrities now. We have one hundred and two thousand followers on Instagram. Wow. Okay, I stopped listening at a thousand. I was like hundred and two. I was like, we lost, <laughs> <laughs> we lost nine hundred ninety nine. We lost ninety nine thousand followers. Um, so if you are new here, sorry. We got another comment today on YouTube that was like, 
Oh my God, this is the worst podcast to listen to. You guys keep interrupting each other and not reading the stories. And I responded and said, then don't listen. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's super Go easy. Go back to TikTok. <laughs> Remember about three days ago before you found our podcast? Just do that again. <laughs> I mean, we do interrupt, but... What? Can I say Ooh. that I like your hat? I like, you like my hat? Yeah, it's very cool. Thank you. Is it the beaver hat? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's mine. Aurora has a raccoon hat that's uh, like an olive top and then like a bluish okay. bottom here. And uh, I stole it from her because I said that's the coolest hat ever. And so for Christmas, her she told her parents to get me this beaver hat. Her dad, who's a little silly goofball, also got me a different beaver hat, which is a bucket hat with just like a million like beavers. Yeah, like an all over print beaver. Mm. And so like goofball. T- he said, wait, you said beaver hat. And I pulled out that. <laughs> bucket hat and i was like yay you, <laughs> and then he's like now there's no one in there and then i pulled out this and i was like oh thank god <laughs> i don't have to uh, charade about the beaver hat you got me connects dude connects were sick these though. are gonna be so fun with my legos um i was a very stupid kid also a very stupid adult i got connects one year for christmas and that didn't come with instructions impossible to figure out oh yeah you look at you look at the box and you go huh yeah i'm supposed to make a roller coaster out of this you got the roller coaster i didn't get a roller coaster i got like a little robot thing and it's like mom i said bionicles you got me connects that's a very martian move it's very martian move we're we're bionic bionicles were lego right yeah yeah technically technics if you want to get into the nitty gritty of it (laughs) I, d- I don't want to get into the nitty gritty of it. Could you um, play a listener some minutes? Tell me about that circle. Jerk. Shit! Wow! I just thought that's what you wanted. I'm so used to getting teed up to that. Mm-hmm. You're being a real cancer right now, Erica. I cannot believe you. Is that the one that was mean? Were you? Who had the mean one? You had the mean one. You're being a real Gemini right now. <laughs> Classic Aquarius. <sighs> Ooh, motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm a Pisces. I've never been more of a Pisces than right now. Um, listeners submitted sound comes to us from Sarah. Hi, I know I sent this wrong, but here's a video. I love you so much. <laughs> Say my name, bitch. JK, if you're not a bitch, if anything, I'm a bitch. My name's Sarah. My friend is Hannah, and she started listening after I shared it that I was in your top 2% of listeners A B on my Spotify wrapped. 100% brag. Fuck y'all. I love you guys. <laughs> I'm digging this energy. Love you guys. You're so cool. I love you guys. So cool. Love you. We'll send another message when sober, but... Yeah, that I, makes sense. Yeah. That makes you sense. You guys, keep on keeping on. Best. Love, Sarah. I love all the, e- I, like, we'll be reading through emails, like, sorting them, and it's just, like, a jargon bullshit, and it's just, like, I'm so high right now. It's like, yeah. <laughs> if you get, like, the double email, and it's like, I'm so, I'm so fucked up right now, I'm sorry. It's like... Wait, 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 are you ready? Yeah. Okay. What the hell? Oh, my God. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. That was an Erica laugh. It was. That was an that Erica was an cackle. Erica laugh. That I can't was, believe. And it was beautiful. I can't believe they recorded Aurora and Rachel anytime they're together. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was great. I, I loved thought it. I recognized the fingers. That's crazy. <laughs> this one is Thank on you, Instagram. Does not want me to say their name. Coward. Courage. So give me a name. Joanna. Joanna says, hey. Hi. Says, I L Y S M. I love you so much too. Weird. What? To get two I love you so much is back to back emails. I love you so much is. Oh, I thought you were making a joke and she said, <laughs> I love you so much too. Anywho, I wish I was that cerebral. I don't fuck. want to be annoying, but I did send this to the pods page as well. I just know that you get a lot of stories from Insta, and now I think about it, I don't give a fuck if you say my name. Whoa. Wow, that's actually really cool and badass. Hi, I'm Taylor. 
That's wow. so fucking sick. Hey, judges, please don't say my name. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, this was like copy and pasted, so they don't actually care if we say their name. So, Taylor. Uh, I've been a fan of the pod for a while. All I did when I was pregnant was binge the pod, and now my nine-month-old loves to listen to you guys while in the car. Ricky is my favorite. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. Understandable. I have contemplated sending a message because it probably wouldn't be read, but I'd like the pod's opinion. Well, you said option, but I'm, I'm, I know you meant opinion, Taylor. We Not do, judging you we yet. We do have a pod option. Yeah. Am I the asshole, ass, space, hole, for getting rid of my husband's grandpa's toy tractor collection. Ooh, you can't touch a man's Ooh, toy tractor collection. Especially not when it's a hand-me-down from your grandpa. Uh, okay. My 144 scale John Deere 80, 8040. Hmm. Well, there was some, there's just something I read about. like some. I mean, obviously, there's millions of controversies about John Deere. I just read some... Oh, you know what it was? It was in the Discord. Uh... Never mind. It's because you can't repair your own John Deere's anymore. Right, right to repair laws. I thought they just passed something that said you could. Uh, they probably did. They've been pushing for it for a long time. Yeah. A little backstory. In September of 2022. I just realized where this story is going to go. Did they, you read it? No, but they touched the tractor. Right? Isn't that what they said? They uh, threw they, it away tractors. They got rid of it. Oh, my God. It's because they... Thought it was too sexy. Schmexy, yeah. They didn't think it Shut was. The they didn't think my tractor was schmexy. <laughs> um. Okay. A little backstory. Back in September of 2022, my husband and I bought his grandpa's abandoned house. I say abandoned because no one had lived in it for two years. No maintenance or anything was done. When we bought the house, we had known that his grandpa was a hoarder and we had bought it with the agreement that we would clean the house out and that he would have to find somewhere to store his stuff. Oh, he's still alive? I'm assuming he's probably in, like, Oh, a nursing care. home? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And you're making it his responsibility to find... <laughs> I have to imagine he doesn't have a lot of access to internet and stuff to find storage solutions for his shit. The agreement that we would clean the house out and that he would have to find somewhere to store his stuff. Yeah. Now I was to make this clear in the beginning. My husband and I never told him he had to sell his things... He just could not keep them in the house. Why are you... Grandpa was living with his son and daughter-in-law at the time. Why are mm. you buying his house and kicking his shit out? It's his house. Who sold oh, it to well, you? He did. It's not his house anymore. He's he too sells frail it. of a man to live on his own. Grandpa had told his son that we, hubby and I, were renting. Grandpa's daughter-in-law, Chrissy, came to the house one day to try and lock all of the rooms in the main living area. So that the living room, dining room, and master bedroom, uh, so the living room, dining room, master bedroom, leaving, wanting to leave use with access to only the, oh, wanting to leave us with only access to the kitchen, bathroom, and two bedrooms upstairs. She also demanded that we gave, give them copies of the house keys. She said that we have no right to demand that grandpa move his stuff out of his house when we were just renting. Wait, what do you... So are they renting? Are they buying? renting it to somebody else? Or no, no, no. They bought the house from Grandpa. Yeah. Grandpa told the people that he's living the rest with of the family that they're just renting. That they're it. just oh, renting it. Oh, okay. 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 When we said no, we bought the house. She was pissed. Fast forward a month, Grandpa decided to have an auction. Okay. Now, mind you, has hubby and I are actively trying, are actively living in the house, trying to get it cleaned up. Grandpa did not say anything about holding an auction. We found out when the auction company came walking into the house at 6 a.m. one morning. Long story short, he sold everything but his toy tractor collection. Wow. Now for the juicy bit. This toy tractor collection took up three of our biggest rooms in our house. No joke, floor-to-ceiling antique metal toy tractors. They didn't sell anything. (laughs) When the auction was happening, Grandpa was offered $27,000 for the whole collection. Whoa. Which is little over... A thousand dollars. Uh oh, I'm sorry. Which is a little over a thousand tractors. Grandpa wow. told hubby that he was going to take the offer, but it turns out he never did. At this point, we'd been living in the house for three months, and we were, uh, and we were, 
where we live, the law is once you sell a house, the seller has until the buyer moves in to get all of the property out or it becomes the seller's property. Remember this for later. Yeah, but it's family. We had offered to pay for years worth of... This is Olive Garden? (laughs) We had offered to pay for a year's worth of storage and move the collection to a storage unit. Offered to bring the collection to Grandpa's son's house and offered to help Grandpa sell them. But Grandpa refused. Now we found out that I was pregnant and due in May 2023. Congratulations. So I wanted to make sure that I... I wanted to make sure to get them out because we couldn't even use our living room or the master bedroom. Every couple of weeks, I would have hubby box some tractors up and bring them to his grandpa's house, but his grandpa would just bring them back back a couple days later. I ended up having my parents come over because I'm not comfortable around hubby's family and my in-laws along with grandpa for dinner one night in February of 2023. I made it very clear that if the tractors are not out of my house before the end of March 2023... I will get rid of them myself. My mother-in-law just laughed at me and said that I need to work it out with grandpa. Grandpa wouldn't listen and didn't do anything to help with the tractors. Now come to the end of March, I ended up having preeclampsia and had my daughter two months early on 331 and those damn tractors were still in my house. My hubby took things into his own hands and lined things up to get rid of the tractors. We now had a month to get the house ready for the baby we told my in-laws we got rid of them and they didn't care until the day I brought my daughter home. The Wait, day- I'm sorry. Oh, the, the, the daughter was kept at the hospital for a month. Yeah, because she was premature. Gotcha. Um, the day we brought my daughter home, I had my mom, dad, and siblings over along with my in-laws and hubby's aunt. Now, like I said, I'm not comfortable around my in-laws. They bully me, call me names, and just... Overall, are very mean to me, but only when my husband isn't around. So my mother-in-law and aunt it was were so in bad the for you. yeah. So my mother-in-law and my aunt were in the kitchen talking to me while I was prepping dinner, and everyone else was outside. Why are you the one prepping dinner when you had a baby? This is you should. Well, she drew the short underwear. That's a real deep callback. Yeah. Also it's disgusting. And everyone else was outside, or so they thought. When they started screaming at me about why what I did to the tractors, why I pushed their father out of his home, why I married my husband for the toy tractors and the house that we got so much money for those tractors. Uh, they were mad because they wanted some tractors, and I got rid of them all. He married me for my schmexy I'm, tractors. I'm sorry to tell you this, Erica. I married you for your grandpa's tractor collection. Mm-hmm. Uh, he after- had a John Deere 8440. <laughs> 144 scale. Now, keynote, <laughs> hubby's aunt wants nothing to do with grandpa, and everyone knows it. After that night, she had sent a message to hubby and I stating that she was turning us in for elderly abuse and was going to take us to court for theft. Huh? So this is where that law comes in. Yeah. If you take out the fact that we are family and look at it as if it was just seller and buyer, grandpa the seller and we the buyer... The seller signed the papers to sell the house in September of 2022. We moved in October of 2022. Legally, as of October of 2023, hubby and I owned everything in the house. We did not need to give the grandpa seven months to get his things out. After I get your opinion on what is on that here is another little thing that added to why we did what we did the way we did it. This is her husband's dad? Or, her husband's, or husband's grandpa. grandpa. Sounds like it's his his mom's dad. I wonder I wonder if the grandpa, like how much of his mental facu- faculties were there mm. yeah. to give any CCR to the uh, family of the husband being like you took advantage of him and stole his house. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but the property was vacant for two years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like, and he had ever, and if he had the mental, uh, of facilities to like sell everything in his house i imagine he can't be like that yeah. you know biden-esque got his ass sorry that was a little political <laughs> got his ass <laughs> all right when it came time to file taxes grandpa tried to claim that he was the owner of the house as of december 2022 which was incorrect hubby and i claimed that so that they were so that we got audited 
In January 2023, Grandpa tried to get more government assistance and tried to claim that Hubby and I never paid him for the house. So we had people calling us and coming to our house looking for proof of payment, which we had because we had the bank papers. Grandpa tried telling everyone that Hubby and I stole money from him, stole the check from the bank to pay for the house, that I have a pretty big handgun collection that I have display at, on display at my house that consists of my guns, my parents, and that Grandpa tried claiming some of them were his. Grandpa did not tell us the condition of the house before we bought it. That's why they needed the director's gun. They had three rooms worth of handguns they needed to display. Yeah. Oh, did I forget? They have uranium in there, too, actually. <laughs> Uh, Grandpa did not tell us the condition of the house before we bought it, so he came into the house blind to the amount of damage that him and his son's family had done. Anyways, I know the story is long and probably all over the place, but I've got a lot of them from my husband's family. If you ever want more, just let me know. Golly. Unfortunately, Taylor, you are the asshole for calling him your hubby. Yeah. (laughs) I I cannot. It's pretty cringe. Uh, Everybody sucks here for that that, (laughs) that matter. Not all equally, but <laughs> what what did just something just happened, Erica, where somebody was like, Oh, I'm I'm a really big fan. I love Erica so much. And we read their story and they, they said, said spawn. They said I had spawn. They came in the Discord, like, I'm so sorry for sure. Maybe it was an email. Like, it was Discord, and they're like, I was just trying to like spice it up a little bit. <laughs> it's like, what were we just just teasing you? We dunked on him. <laughs> we dunked on him hard. I so bad. I was like, I don't want you to rethink your life for calling him a spawn. <laughs> but you should probably. <laughs> yeah. No. Taylor, I've, this is a whole lot. I feel incredibly bad for you because, like, it sounds like this isn't going to stop until mm-hmm. Old Man Croak. So maybe if not, maybe not even in, after that, because then they're going to be like, "Oh well, it was his mm-hmm. property. Now that he's dead, it's ours or something." Yeah, some stupid shit. Wait, so okay, they said in there that the great aunt or whatever. So I assume the the grandpa's sister didn't want the grandpa around as well but she also was like pissed at you guys for whatever reason something like that <laughs> so the whole family just hates each other yeah they're just miserable people that's yeah. what it sounds like yeah it's <sighs> awesome that's awesome yeah it's a cool kind of family dynamic but like I if we're all hus- pieces is your of husband shit? like worth it like is, <laughs> is he good and because you know like some people have are very great individuals but their family fucking sucks so you're looking at me because most of my family fucking sucks. Yeah, and you suck, but your family is awesome. I don't know if awesome. I legally can answer this question, but. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> my I, eyes, my honestly, eyes are darting in a direction. Does this not remind you of like the shit uh, that's going on in my family? Yeah, it sounds like. A... My grandma, my, my great grandma died and uh, she's the one that Olson's named after. And she owned the house. Right. But my grandpa, her husband, he's my step grandpa, whatever, is still alive. But because he didn't own the house, when she died, everything got split between her five kids. Okay. So it was offered like, do one of you children want to buy the house like from the rest of the from the rest? Yeah. Like whatever the house is worth, one of you five can pay the other four portions. Yeah. And they didn't want to do that. So my aunt was like, I'll buy the house. My husband will buy the house. They're fucking getting divorced. Ah. They were probably, she already knew that they were probably going to get divorced before they even bought the house. Well, and you know how sometimes couples go out and like get a house to try to save from their marriage. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Well, it's so stupid. It's the whole thing is so fucking stupid. She's the worst, and I hate her. Yeah. Well, there's even more to it, because it's, like, it's the thing, too, of, like, it's been, like, what, two years, three years? And it's, like, at first, like, come get anything you want from hers. Like, come get it. And then, like, nobody got anything. And then, like, people, like, like cousins and, like, lower people on the rung, like, started, like, okay, well, if nobody's going to take this, I'll take this. And they're, like, where's everything going? And it's, like... Uh. Mm-hmm. You guys had three years to come get whatever the fuck you wanted, and then it's like, well, now that it now that it's gone, I'm mad, and it's like, shut the fuck up. Now there's like fights about like people taking stuff, and it's like, you guys had free reign to take whatever right. you wanted. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just people act so weird when around I know. like yeah. grandparents' deaths and like possessions. You know, well, 
do you remember when my when my grandpa died? Mm. We we're cleaning out his house, and my, my one aunt, she's not even gonna listen to this. She's kind of fucking insane. Mm-hmm. But like, they had a pile of like we're throwing the shit away, and I was like, oh, is that a cast iron pan? Like, and it's like in good condition. I go and grab, it and she goes, "No, I wanted that," and she like takes it out of my hand, and I'm like. I that, thought this was the trash pile. I was like, I pile. thought this garbage pile. And she's like, no, it got misplaced there. And I was like, okay. Like, what? It was so weird. And, like, she just kept doing it. And I was like, she took, I gotta like, leave. like, everything. I was like, I gotta leave. I can't be around for this stuff. Hell. This is so weird. It was weird. <sighs> everything about that is And it's like, we got, weird. like, one lamp out of a set of lamps. And, like, and we kept getting, like, <laughs> one out of a set. Yeah, We got one ch- out of a set of chairs. Like, a thing that you famously need more than one of yeah it's well like, it's a rocking chair uh, but it was like matching rocking chairs and right it's like, it's like okay whatever yeah, it's like we'll... the one thing that things are designed like in yeah. pairs like <laughs> yeah. one piece of furniture that and like end tables yeah <laughs> it's like okay whatever if you're gonna be weird about it fucking have it i guess my grandma had a cedar chest and and what well, was this good grandma we the same her. grandma we're talking about. We liked her. Oh yeah, she's one of okay. my favorites. So I, I won't say I would love to have seen her chest. No, Joshua. Okay, I won't say that then. That's pretty fucked. I won't say that. I said. Okay. Anyway, we're a couple of years too late. Anyways, she always had like, I mean, it was a cedar chest. You'd put like memories and shit in it. Whatever Aurora has one. Yeah. A trunk. Yes, and it was at the foot of her bed, and like every once in a great while, she'd let us like go through it, and it was just like so much fun. For the grandkids to yeah. go through like all these memories and ask her all these questions about shit. Well, before she died, she told me that she wanted me to have it. And before she died, she made me take it home. Okay. Because she knew she was like end of life. She's like, take my cedar chest. So we went through it and and I took it. And then after she died, someone was like, um, where the fuck's the cedar chest? Yeah. And they were pissed that I had it. Mm. Pissed. Do they come over now and rummage through the memories? No. Now it's full of my memories. <laughs> Aurora went through the cedar, her cedar chest, and I would have loved to see her chest. Can I say that? You haven't seen her chest? We're working on it. Okay. That's fair. Good for you, Aurora. When we initiate hot times, I just get so... <laughs> Is that what you guys call it? Yeah. Okay. I go awuga awuga. <laughs> And then my eyes pop out, and then they melt down. And Uh so I'm kind of just looking at the floor the whole time. Sure. Um, We're working on it in in therapy. Mm -hmm. Uh, But she was going through there, and she found, like, the craziest, yeah, like, time capsule, like, 2013 singing mustache card, like, novelty. And it's like, why do you... It smelled like bacon when you opened it up. (laughs) (laughs) And it still worked. That's crazy. (laughs) 12 years later... (laughs) That is nuts. Good battery. They didn't cheap out on the battery on it. It's, Crazy. It's solar powered. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, I think that's it for this week's main episode. Yeah, but you could also go over and check out our Ooh. weekly bonus episode. Where I will be reading some, I'll say it, great stories. I found some banger stories. Are you you didn't like my stories? Well, I'm just trying to, I did, I loved your stories. I'm just trying to throw over to the bonus episode. Okay. You gotta hype it up. I've got one email with four stories in it. Oh each, my god! One personalized for each of us, and then a fourth one. Ooh. Well, actually, two of them are for Christian. Yay! But... <laughs> we love that. We gotta get out. Oh shit! Uh, where the where can they find us? You're not doing this. You're the one making the take line. Where can they find oh us? Oh my god! On the internet. <laughs> that's at Judges Pod. J U D G I E S Pod. It was hey, awful. Hey, and if you got a story, oh to, if you, hey, if you got an email that has four stories in it, send it to us at judgespot at gmail dot com. Hey, <laughs> the judges love you. Keep on keeping on. <laughs> Editor will fix that. Don't embarrass me. Editor will not. You had you pushed that button thirty five mm. times. You couldn't manage to hit it on beat the one time. <laughs> I'll start it over. Would have been really funny. Oh, I was going to be so mad. Anyway, have a great week. We love you. Goodbye. Bye. Hugs and pisses. The judges love you.